I just wanted to introduce this uh, project abstract art this week. We're talking about basic shapes, lines, textures to create uh, an overall feeling of abstraction, which means not realistic. It's not a style that is realistic. So we're not trying to represent something that is very realistic. We're trying to do just the opposite. We're trying to think about, well, what kind of thing do I like and do? And then incorporate that into like images and different types of textures and shapes and patterns of, of lines as well into an artwork. That's what abstract art is all about. Before coming to this page, you were supposed to make and turn in your practice plan, just like I'm showing you here. We had already, already talked to, talk to you about how you can incorporate some ideas and what kind of tools you could use in your artwork and then how you can zoom in on a specific part of your basic design ideas. And then that zoom in section would be the actual art project where then it looks like some things are actually going off the page. And so that's how you can make an easy way of making that abstract type of images using different lines and shapes and patterns. That's what our goal is for this week, abstract art, and then using mixed media techniques, which means three different types of, of tools or materials for your art. And I did that in some of the examples that I showed. I used uh, first paint, which would really help to completely fill the page, which is another requirement of this assignment. Just completely fill the page with paint, and there you go. Very easily done to fill the whole page. And then after it's dry, then you just put different things on top of using different tools. So I used tape, and I glued on uh, a leaf that I found outside, some things that you wouldn't even think of as being part of art, maybe. And then I just did my repeated lines and shapes on there as well. And that was for my first team. I try to do it neatly. So I want you to take your time to do your arc. And then after you're done, I want you to take two pictures of your artwork halfway through and, and completely through finished because then they, I can grade it more accurately. I have a list of different materials here to help you out. You can also check out materials for free at the office as well. And you can do mixed media as well uh, for this tutorial. This shows you how to do, this video shows you how to do that using different materials. Here's a list of different things you could use around the house or outside even, and put that, you can think of things you can tape or you can glue onto your assignment or your page. So here's an example. It doesn't look like anything right here, but for me that represents te uh, the texture of uh, bark of tree. And that's what the theme was for this one was nature. So I thought of a forest and maybe for you, it means something else. So you just come up with whatever you would like to do. My digital example was made using Google Slides, and I just did a different layering technique, um, layering different type of images that are mostly see-through. And on top of each other, so you can kind of look through these different things, like things that I found in my theme was, was my, my idea was nature. Whichever one you choose to do, whichever way, whichever process, we're still gonna be doing very careful images so that we can get up to the higher level of quality of artwork. I want you to just take your time on your art if you're not very confident in your art. I hear that a lot, I'm not very good at art, but it's just about how much practice that you've had, just like anything that you do, whether it is sports or an activity or anything at all, any kind of game that you play would also relate to this kind of idea of it takes time to get better at things, right? To get from one level to the next, you need to take more time and practice. So to show that you, you're willing to take the time to free art, that's really important to me because effort is more important to me than the outcome. A lot of different examples of what mixed media abstract art looks like. I have a lot of them on this page here. Definitely try to copy some of these if you're not sure what else to do. I have given you some examples here of ideas, like even in this one here, it has a, a basketball hoop. I really appreciate this one because it is basketball and I do like basketball, so I would use that for my image. You just use whatever you like. Um, it has different types of materials here. Like this is uh, for the basketball hoop. It is a aluminum foil found in your kitchen. So just think about things that you wouldn't normally use. Some people really like doing uh, tape art. So I have an example of my tape that I put down. I just used regular blue tape. And then mass, uh, then I would definitely make sure that I make it not so it's not so sticky. It doesn't stick to the paper and tear the paper. I would use my pants and kind of do what I call lint lifting. That might help to make it so that once you put it on, after you're done painting or drawing on top of it, you definitely will not have any issues with it tearing the paper. So there's another tip for that. So have fun with this assignment and email me if you have any questions. I really appreciate your effort. Thank you so much.